Hey, welcome back. All right, so a few weeks, months, I don't know, time goes so quickly here, uh, ago, I built my own version of the Barbie dream house in excitement, ready for the uh, for the Barbie movie. However, since I did that, Mattel, who owns Megablocks, actually released their own version, obviously, because they own it, of the Barbie movie dream house. And I wasn't going to get this. I wasn't. It's Megablocks. It's not Lego. It's Oh, but I just, I hummed and I ahed and I, oh dear, I'm on your ah, you hum and your ha, right? I'm on your ahed and I did both and then I bought it. So help me, please. There are 1,795 pieces and it was $200 in Australia. And this is actually a set that is designed for adult builders. It is a lot of pieces. I'm not sure whether they're, like, is this a, no, no, this is a very big set for Mega Blocks. I don't know, I don't know whether they regularly release big sets. I'm not up with Mega Blocks, but anyway, this is huge. It's really, really heavy and there are, whoa, a lot of bags in here. <laughs> so let's have a look. Oh, I'm just so much pink. The pink brings me joy. Okay, so the instruction book is actually wrapped in tissue paper like a little present. That's sweet. There's no stickers. So, oh, okay, gee, these instructions are very different. Oh, okay, I'm heading in, sad. Yeah, send help, right. Okay, so we'll have a look at the figures first. So they're styled off of the... This is based on Barbie the movie. So we've got versions from Barbie in the movie. So got this really cute gingham skirt and the pink... Uh, oh gosh, the way they do high heels is <laughs> a little bit frightening. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, this is kind of fun. It's interesting to see how different companies do their own their own style of articulated doll. Got a ball joint for the head. There's already grub like in the printing. It's not a very, it's, it's already dirty. I don't know. I don't know how that's possible. Here's the face print, which looks very much just like a very tiny Barbie. So this is, this is kind of fun. <laughs> it's weird. You can actually angle her head on the head joint. I like that. Oh my gosh, this is fun. And we have got some hair choices. So this is the hairstyle that she has got when she's wearing this outfit in the movie. And it's got a big plug in the middle to plug onto her head. I like the slight iridescence. Is that the right word? Like the slight shininess of her hair. So the arms are articulated. Her neck is articulated. She's got just a little hip joint as well. And she's not terribly stable. So let's just try and... I mean, she's wearing high heels. No wonder. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we have got Barbie and we've also got just Ken, which is really fun. And he's in the beach outfit, which is in mint and pastel pink, which is adorable. His hip joint is quite thin, which I think that's the reason for that. Because both of his legs can move independently of each other. His torso has got... <laughs> He's got a removable, so he's got a removable shirt so he can go into, <laughs> into the water without getting his clothes wet. So he's actually got a swimsuit. I just love this. So he's got a little removable top. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> Do even his sneakers look like platform, platform sneakers? His head, just like the Ken dolls that we had when I was a kid, has got the hair molded onto it. So, I mean, because Ken was just basically there as an accessory for Barbie. We knew that even when I was a kid. And he's got a mobile phone which is like the most basic of mobile phones <laughs> it's great it's got actually a little hand holdy thing in it and he's got a bracelet that's nice it's a little pearl no hold on that's wrong that's I mean it looks absolutely gorgeous on him but he's supposed to have the watch so here we go take that one off you can wear that one for like your formal gear or when you have to be in like after five outfits so we've got Ken and we got Barbie and this this bracelet is actually because we've got some accessories and two other outfits for Barbie. So this one, which she's wearing when she floofs off the roof and and the uh, uh, her head has got no face print on it, which is really, really creepy, but it's supposed to be a mannequin. So it's just holding her outfit for until she's ready to change it and a different hairstyle. So this set actually comes with three outfits for Barbie and three different hair pieces as well, which you can swap and change and mix and match. And there's also the iconic black and white striped swimsuit. The bottom looks a bit G-stringy, so th that's obviously what happens when you just print the middle joint part. And she also obviously has got the mannequin blank face and her hair is not quite the right hairstyle to go with this. We need the little permed 70s, 80s style fringe. Uh, and she doesn't have sunglasses. So I don't know whether these mega blocks can't come with sunglasses, but we do have a little pink bow, which is supposed to go with this outfit and 
the sun hat, which I think was a gingham version in the actual movie. And it goes on really, it, not terribly happily because it's got a little rubbery notch in the top so it's hard to actually get it to go into the hair and it's supposed to be on an angle that looks <laughs> a little bit dodgy but I wonder whether we can put it on the other outfits and whether it'll look because it's supposed to be a pink the pink gingham hat to go with the pink gingham outfit right so let's see if I can get this on and then angle it around no you needed a really hard spoke in that so that you can poke it into the hole really easily otherwise it just keeps bending okay that just looks kind of like it's perched on the top of her head but it kind of does the trick let's pop it back on the swimsuit version because obviously if you're in a swimsuit you need a hat for sun protection very important <laughs> even if it does look really budgy okay all right so three different versions of Barbie and Ken there we go. All right. This is fun. This is fun already, but we haven't started the building and that's where all the pieces are. And this is a massive set. So we'll start with something fun because the instructions tell me to. So we get to make a little floaty ring for the pool and it has got a swan head. No, flamingo head. I love it. And I wonder if I can, well, let's swap Barbie's outfit over for the swimsuit because obviously she doesn't go in there in her dresses. You're nuts. Let's put the hat on her because she's going to be out in the sun. And then she can just kind of sit in here or, or topple off the back. I wonder if I can stick her legs through. I cannot stick her legs through. I could stick one leg through, but no, she has to just kind of sit like this. That looks super comfy. So, so comfy. <laughs> Right. Okay. Building time. And now the instructions in this are really different to what I'm used to in Lego. You get two layers and you kind of pop them on top of each other. And there are also lots of different sizes of the same colors, which is something that Lego doesn't do. They tend to split their different sizes of the same color into different bags. And I'm finding this incredibly taxing. And I've had a lot of experience building, so this, this is really, really tough to make sure I'm getting everything kind of, I mean, it's just a new way of thinking because it's a new, <laughs> new way of reading the instructions, but it is hard to tell whether it's supposed to be like a two by five plate or a two by six plate or a two by seven plate or a two by eight plate supposed to go in specific places, really confusing. And also I'm needing my little, my little uh, watchmaker's nylon hammer to whap these plates together because they really don't want to go plates on plates. They're not wanting to go down very easily. Uh, I've actually sped this up like a lot because this took me a heap of time to put together. And even then I got stuff wrong. So now the flowers are really cute though. Flowers and the foliage are different to what we have in Lego. It's nice to see different molds. Okay. I feel as though I've done something wrong here at the end of these first steps because I've got these pieces left, which I don't feel as though I should have. And I need like a two by two square in that big blank space there in the front. So mm, I might just have to fill it with a plant if I can't figure it out later on. Right, next bags are filled with pink. So that's happy. We've got our base down. We get our very first piece of furniture, which is where all the excitement is here. This is the, uh, the, oh my gosh, you know, the stereo system. I just love how this is all incredibly 70s, 80s glam mansion style. It's, it is just so dated and I love it. I'm here for it. So a little pink curvy patch over here on the floor. And then we put in all oh, the very first of these uh, grill pieces in the, hold on, get the foundations on first, but there is, this is a pink piece with the pink grill in it. Really hard to pop this in. Oh gosh, I hurt. My fingers already hurt. <laughs> it didn't take very long. Smoothing over the top with little jumper studs because you're supposed to be able to detach each of the lever levers, the lever, the le levels, which are different to levers. Look at this printed piece. The perfect beach. The perfect beach. I don't know what else I thought that might say. Of course it's the perfect beach. So that's the focal point for the inside outside curved bar here that we're getting, putting together. So we've got the inside part and we've got a little blue lamp. I do like those little squashy parts that make the stand of the lamp. And this, these are going to be the foundations for the staircase, which is going to be a curved staircase. So this is, I mean, the whole premise of this is it's reminiscent of the dream house, the Barbie dream house that if you were lucky enough to have as a kid. Okay, I have now taken big chunks of this and put them together off camera because oh my gosh, otherwise this would be 
hours long because I just struggle with the foundation of this. Just I'm still struggling trying to get even just these pink smooth bits because they're all different lengths. Some are one by four, some are one by five, one by six, one by seven, one by eight. And it doesn't tell you clearly which ones are supposed to go where, but I got there in the end. But oh my goodness, it was... Oh, it's an exercise in patience and restructuring and the pieces are not that easy to get on and off. Now off to the side, now that we've actually got this floor done, we've got a uh, hot tub, nice pink in a slightly different shade of pink hot tub. We'll get Ken in there, he can get his top off and take his mobile phone out. <laughs> <laughs> so cute and obviously there's all this negative space in here all these big open walls because that's what a Barbie dream house looks like and also it would be so so brick heavy if it, had, if it was completely enclosed so this goes on the next level and we've now secured that staircase looks pretty good so far except for that big blank empty spot down the front in the green but I'm just going to ignore that and I've put together another little bit of roofing and the next bit of stairs because you've already seen how those go together and it's not very interesting but the swimming pool I do like these translucent blue pieces because they've got like a like a variation of blue colors through them which gives it a little bit of realism I, I quite like that okay so we're putting the green surrounds around the surround gosh that was hard to say the green surrounds around and making sure I get everything on where it's supposed to be I think I got it correctly that time and we've now got our bar ready so we put some drinks on it and a little plate with an orange and a little bowl with a couple of oranges in there. We've got a couple of smoothies as well. These are really, really cute accessories. There's, there aren't enough accessories in here. It's actually quite empty. It's a lot of building and not enough accessories and furniture, but that's the way of an actual Barbie dream house, right? You buy the accessories separately. So this is the pebbling going around the pool, all in different shades of pink. I think I've got them lined up correctly now. Once again, it was hit or miss for a moment there. Just, just struggling with this oh, the whole way through, but it's fine because they all have to line up around the pool. So I was going to get there eventually in the end. That looks really cute. The paving looks really, really cute and <laughs> really retro. <laughs> and then we've got some furniture. So we have these cute little chairs, little bar chairs, and they go over here at the, at the wet bar here. That's adorable. I really like this. Let's get out. Let's get Barbie and Ken in there. And then out in the pool grassy section, we have got some beach lounges, some sun chaises. And these go, they actually just sit in between the studs. So they're not secured to the base plate there, but that's okay. They're, they're kind of secure. Oh my gosh, the fact that these don't all stick down properly. I cannot get all those plates to go down flat. Okay. Umbrella is very nice, enormous big parasol, and that goes in between the chairs, kind of here. I think it, the instructions aren't terribly clear, but I don't think it really matters where the furniture goes, as long as it's not in the way of the foundational building. And of course we have got a mega slide. So this goes from the top floor down into the pool, so it's got little feet to go into the pool, and it's a bit... The, uh, the actual incline of it at the top means you have to push push the figures down from the top but then they get get going once they're halfway down so they, yeah it doesn't really have as much incline as it needs to have and because we are in Malibu or I don't know actually are we in Malibu I just always just shimmer in Malibu because it's Malibu Barbies but obviously we are near the beach our beach mansion we've got some palm trees so we got one here and we've got another one which goes on the other side on an angle which is really cute like kind of funky way to mix it up. I really like that. Okay, what we have at the end there is not too weird, I think. And now we're up to the next bag and I'm just gonna build this off screen. So this is a whole heap of base and I didn't get anything wrong here, I don't think. And now we got a whole heap of pink and we'll put all these on for our walls. So more of those pink sparkly glittery lattice uh, lattice pieces which were really cute and reminiscent of the old Barbie houses and the new Barbie houses too. Got a gold lamp, nice big floor lamp and some chairs and this is a table so we're making lounge room maybe? This is the other side now. So we've actually built one whole side of the Barbie house. This side actually has a lot more furnishings in it. So this is the kitchen. We've got a milk Barbie milk, good morning, and a plate with a squishy croissant on it and a little blue teacup, which is reminiscent of the shape of the teacups, the new teacups from Lego. All right, this is very fun. Those curvy lounges that used to be like super duper cool in the mansion -y cool places in the 70s heading into the 80s. Just love it. And this is a little side table 
with a marbled top and it has a lamp on it. <laughs> it's so The furnishings are really, really adorable. And up the back is an enormous brick fireplace. So here's our fireplace with the different little fire moldy pieces in it, which I really, really like. And the fireplace has cobbling kind of pink different shades and different textures of pink bricks going up, going all the way up to the top. So I'll build this bottom part so you can have a look at how that actually goes together, the idea of it. But the next few ones I'm going to, I'll, I'll build them off camera because it's all the same sort of idea. And this actually balances off the back which is weird but useful because it's not taking up valuable space. And because this is a kitchen, now we get some, some kitchen accessories or some kitchen stuff. This is the fridge, the oven on the top, and a microwave on the bottom. Is that right? I think so. Getting these doors on really hard, really hard. So yeah, oven on the top, or maybe a grill, I don't know. It's cooking stuff, it's not a fridge. So these go over here in the corner and then some connecting wall, top roofy kind of bits and our roofs, the next level bit. And then there is a curved bench top, like a kitchen fancy bench top around the edge. And we've got a sink in here in the very corner. And I know that because we've got this cute little sink mold, which is a really nice, you know, mixer, which is, hold on, mixer's quite, quite a modern kind of thing for a tap. And a toaster. This is cute with Barbie on it. I love the little Barbie toaster. And then smoothing around the corners here, there's one jumper stud there. So we're going to be putting something else on there, but that's it. That's it for the kitchen. <laughs> it's done. Now, some substantial foundational wally pieces. And this is the front entryway for the doors. And they're these gorgeous, like filigree pink, sparkly front opening doors with a BB for Barbie on the fronts. So good. <laughs> okay. All right. So this is another part that was really hard because we've got all these just long one by one by something, one by four, one by three, one by five, one by six, one by seven pink pieces. And it's hard to tell what goes where, which bit spans which spot and whether I've actually got all of the brick pieces in the right place. And I finally got there in the end. So sped that up really, really fast. Got a nice lamp happening. That was what ended up in the kitchen. Another little pink lamp. And I've got two pieces left, which I shouldn't really have at the end of that bag. So hopefully we'll figure out where they go as we go along. But the next bag's cute. It's full of foliage and garden. We're getting the garden happening. So this curved, ah. Oh, Okay, these good pieces need to, everything needs to move in a little bit. So these little pieces of, that looks weird, but that's cool. <laughs> We've got some nice foliage happening in the garden. These plants are lining the beautiful yellow walkway. And of course, we got a pink flamingo out the front. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. <laughs> and then on either side are some lamps. Really nice buildable lamps. Nice interesting shapes too for the actual glass and the little jemmy kind of top. On this side is another garden bed. So we've got our curves here and then we put our plants in. And then around here is another, oh, that's where that smooth bit goes. Another plant. And I still have got one brick that I don't know where it goes. <laughs> there don't appear to be any raging gaps. Okay, some nice big floor panels for the next level. They click on those three different sections. So we've got one on one side. This one's going to go on the other side and it's actually got some really fun little furniture pieces in it, including what I thought was going to be a little bar, but it's not. It's marbled. <laughs> it's marbled. It's actually going to be the, it's the shower <laughs> the shower separator, which is really cute. I can't get this on though, which is not really cute. Onto where the jumper studs are supposed to be. It should be easy. It's really not. In real time, it took me about 15 minutes to figure out how to get these on properly. But ta-da, the magic of editing means that we didn't have to watch that. This is the middle section, and this has got some more really cute furniture pieces happening on it too. In fact, this is probably the most interesting, <laughs> 18 minutes into the video, the most interesting part of the build is this part because it's where her wardrobe is and all of her extra outfits and accessories get stored here. So it's really fun. So this is her dressing table. We've got some lights above it and a mirror in its own little little special bag to keep it pristine. Just dropped on the floor, so it's not pristine anymore. And a foundation or a lotion perfume bottle here on the on the uh, edge. This has got a little lever on it. This is actually going to be when we put it up next to the other, the other bit that has got the shower stall. That's the handle for the actual shower. This is in the wrong place to so move everything over by one. I'm actually using the brick remover that, uh, that came with the set. It's different to the Lego ones. It actually does yeah, it does mar up, like it makes little marks on the bricks. So yeah, 
and I'm having to use it a lot, which is a shame. Okay, we have got, we've got our shower head here, which is great. And we put in this nice big chimney piece while I was busy babbling. But this is fun. This is the accessory part. So she's got this big duffel bag. <laughs> she can actually hold it or pop it over her shoulder. It's huge. It's almost as big as she is. And these are going to be the display areas for her mannequins, if I can just get the base of these correct. So they go in here, the glass area, so we're going to be able to see through see through them into the cupboard section. See through cupboards. <laughs> That's only if you've got someone to keep your cupboards organized for you. Otherwise you want to, you want to put everything away behind a nice opaque wall, slide that shut. Okay. This is her dressing table for her actual dressing room. So the other one is a, like a bathroom sink. So we've got a little, little bottle here and a little mirror and a little chair and they go at the front. And now we are ready to put together the actual displays, which is the funnest part. So we've got a knob on one end, but that's so you can pull that in and out. We've got a display section for the mannequin. And in this little box, we've got some, some little rods and little clips to be able to hold her accessories. And because she doesn't have sunglasses, they've been printed onto, onto the actual bricks. This necklace is cute. It's got love on it. That's cute. I love the fact that you can pop the necklace on. That doesn't look too bulky. And a couple of different handbags to go on the clip. No, not the one that one's supposed to go in the next compartment. A couple of handbags to go on the clips down the bottom. And then they go behind here. And look at that. You've got like a whole, it's like when you buy the Barbie in the actual accessory box or in the actual box with all the accessories displayed around the edge. I just love that detail. It's so fun. Oh, but instead it's her wardrobe. Okay couple of necklaces on the printed pieces up here, some high heel shoes down the bottom and then on this little hook is going to be another necklace and we've got another claw here so we've got a little nice light blue necklace and the purple handbag. So all her handbags are exactly the same just different shades for different outfits. <laughs> she's got a she's got a handbag for each outfit that's actually included in this set. Okay these slide in to the little runway there I don't think that's the right words, but look at that. And then you can slide them out to access them. And they really do look like a Barbie in the box. Okay, so this goes in the middle. And look at that, it lines up so nicely. If I can get it on. Yeah, this one, this one goes on fine. Uh, and then look at that, the shower. The shower head's now over the actual shower cubicle. We can pop Barbie in here. <laughs> so fun! And that's no... Hold on, that doesn't reach. So maybe I need to move that over one. There we go. That worked. That was simpler than I expected. All right. We are looking pretty good. We still got another level to go. So get yourselves a cup of tea. We are not done yet. So I preloaded this floor ready to go. We're getting our lattice works as the frame, like the backdrop frame for the bed. Do you remember the bed from the movie? It's this big purple carbuncle. It's totally retro. <laughs> so floofy. Oh my gosh. L looks terribly hard to clean. Okay. So this gets all of the little like padded bits at different angles over here. So that's the back, like the headboard. Got a couple of side tables. Once again, all marble style, obviously plastic, but marble style. And then for the actual bed itself, it is in a like a clamshell shape. So we put this together and then we need to nail it down to the actual baseboard using the hammer because it's not going down very easily. And then we have got this big rubbery plastic Oh my gosh. I can even feel what this would have felt like in real life. The satiny kind of plasticky feel. But you can actually tuck Barbie into the bed, which I just love. Look at that. That's so fun. But we shouldn't have done that yet because she actually needs the pillows. So we've got these angle pieces and we've got pillows at different heights. They're cute. They're really cute pieces. This bed's <laughs> so kish, so garish, absolutely like opulence incarnate. I just love it. Okay, smoothing bits along the top, a little jumpery stud style things on the back, preformed <laughs> chimney because that was boring to watch. And now we get a chair, little side squishy chair to go in her bedroom. And that is just sitting in between the studs which should be okay. And this is a lamp, nice big floor lamp. Got some sparkles in that, in that plastic. Mm, that's pretty. We'll pop Ken in here. Can put his feet up on the little footstool. That's adorable. Okay. So this goes all the way up on the top. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is so much better than the other side. This is so much more interesting. Okay. We've got it all on. It doesn't go on terribly easily. So I don't know that I'm going to be taking these apart, these floors. 
because they look really cute when they're on. And this is the very top roofing floory kind of thing, which was boring to watch build, so I built it off camera. All right, we're not done yet because there is still a garden component, which I thought in my wisdom at the time to actually build on camera because thought I'm much better at this now at the end of having done all of these I'm so much better at following these instructions with this really cute little grass built up area with a heart shaped garden bed got angled brown pieces so that the foliage actually sits up on an angle which is inspired I really like that and tulips different colored tulips here in this little fancy garden bed and then I go to attach it and discover that I have yeah, done it incorrectly. I needed a little green overhang. So through the magic of editing, we have fixed that and popped it on. And now we've just got a couple of palm trees. Actually, we've got more than just a couple of palm trees too. Got a few little finishing touches to do. So we've got another palm tree. This one is angled in the middle of the garden bed, which I love. And then we attach this just at this little tiny connection point here. That is it holding this enormous. And I got to tell you, this is a lot bigger than it looks like on screen in real life. It's really big and there's a lot of empty space. So yeah, there's a lot of building. We actually can hold pieces together, like hold it together with these little pieces that are supplied. But before we do that, we've got to put in the Barbie movie sign, which is out here out the front. <laughs> and it's got these really sweet little Barbie style curly cues on the back. So get those on facing the right way. They almost titchy touch in the middle. And we'll get Barbie down here to truly appreciate the effort that we have done here putting together a Barbie house. All right, so these pieces hold it together. And there you go. I don't know whether you're going to want to open this up again. It is designed to be able to be open and playable, but there's a lot of empty space. It does look great once it's finished, but oh my gosh, I got to tell you, it was a trial <laughs> to put this together. It was a lot harder than I expected it to be. And, you know, not all of that had to do with the fact that the pieces didn't go together quite as comfortably as I'm used to for Lego. All right, so it is designed to flip open, but I think it's going to be staying shut, I think. It makes a really extravagant display piece. It should be quite structurally sound for actually playing with though. So yeah, I mean, you, you can let your, let your kids out. This one's has already been built, but I got to tell you, there's no way that kids are going to be able to build this. It's just really, really tough instructions wise and even just getting the bricks together. It really <laughs> was a trial. Okay, let me know what you think of the finished product and whether this is something that you would want to add to your collection and make sure you check back in soon because more videos are coming up once my fingers have healed from this one because it hurts. <laughs> All right, I'll see you soon. Bye.